conceived by, by the, the Holy Ghost. Ghost. O Mary, for grace and all is with thee, blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. O Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. O Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For forth we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that as we have known the incarnation of thy Son, Jesus Christ, by the message of an angel, so by his cross and passion may we come to know the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. In nomine Patris et Filii, Spiritus Sancti, Amen. In tu noi poratari Dei, and then we will give you a good to my own. You will come to the church and 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 Sfere in Deo, cuore, ma troppo più Deo, io, salutare i bultus me e Deus meus. Gloria, Padre, il Figlio, il Spirito e il Santo, si poderate principio e nunca e sempre, e di secura e seculorum. Amen. In Troi, volatari Dei, ed in quilitifica di ubuntuto meo, auditori nostri, mi domine e domini, qui feci cielo e terra, confiti ed onnipotenti, via di Maria Sapienza. Gloria in excelsis Deo, 
et in terra pax hominibus bone voluntatis, lavamus te, benedicimus te, adoramus te, glorificamus te. Gracias a Jesus te vi prote magnum gloriam tuam. Domine Deus, Rex Celestis, Deus Patrum Omnipotens, Domine Filioni Genete, Jesu Christe. Domine Deus, Agnus Dei, Filius Patris, qui tolis peccatum mundi, miserere nobis, qui tolis peccatum mundi, suscite deputazione nostra, i sedes et extra patris, miserere nobis. Gloriam tu solus sanctus, tu solus dominus, tu solus santissimus, Jesu Christe, un sancto spirito in gloria Dei Patris. Amen. Ex ovobis et cum spiritu tuo. Orremus. Deus, qui multitudinem gentium piazzi, pauli opostli, predicazioni documisti, da nobis quesmus, ut cuius natilizia colimus eus apute i patrocini e senze amus. Per Dominum nostrum, Iaesum Christum, Filium tuum, qui te cum viveta regna ad unanitati Spiritu Santi Deus, per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Orremus, Deus qui beato Petro Apostolo tu, colati sclavibus regni celestis, legandi d'atque solvendi pontificium tradigisti, concede, ut in decessione seus auxilio a peccator nostrorum nexicus deberemur. Deus qui presente in viem orrabile nobis e viazzi Ioannis nativitati e fegisti, da populis tui spiritualium gaur gratium gauriorum, et omnium fedelium mentes delige in viem salutis eterne. Per Dominum nostrum, Iesum Christum, Filium tuum, qui te cum vivita regna ad unanitati Spiritus Santi Deus, per Romnia secula seculorum. Amen. Ex Epistoli Piazzi Pauli Apostoli et Galatas. Fratres, notum vobis facio Evangelium, quod evangelizatum est a me, quia non e secundum hominem, neque enim ego ap homine acipi, illud neque dei titici, sed per revelationem Iesu Christi. Audistis enum confessationem mea, maliquandu in iudaesimo, quoniam supra modum perseguabor ecclesiam dei, expunabam ilum et proficiebam in iudaesimo, supra mutus per poetae neus meus in genere meo, amudantius emulatu resistens paternarum mearum tradizionum. Cum autem placuite, qui me sec regavit ex uto romatis me, et vocavit ve gratiam suam, ut revelaret filium suam in me, ut evangelizarum illum e gensibus. Continuo non et quie vicarni et sanguini, neque veri erosili mamere tecet et ad antecessores meus apostolos, sed abi in apre in arrabiam, et iterum reversus sum damascum, diende post annus tres veni erosili man videri petrum, et manzi apodeum diebus quindicem, alium autem apostolorum vidi neminem, nisi Jacobum fratem domini. Quae autem scribo vobis ece correm Deo, quia non mencio. Deo, gracias. Qui operatus est Petro, in apostolatum operatus est et mihi et agentes, et uno venunt gratia in Dei, quae et atere est mihi. Gratia Dei in me vacua non fuit, sed gratia eus sempre in me mane. Alleluia, alleluia, sancte Pauli apostole predicatu veritatis et docto gentium, et agente pro nobis. Alleluia. Sobiscum et cum spirito tuo, sequentia sancti Evangelii secundum Matteo. Gloria, tibi Domine. In ino tempore dixit Iesus discipulis suis, ece ego mito vos sicut oves in medio luporum. Est ote ergo prudentes sicut serpentes, sed simplices sicut columbar. Davete autem ab hominibus. Tradet enim vos in concilii, sed in sinagogi suis flagellebabit. Suis flagelleba vos, et apresides et ad reges dute et gemini, protem ben testimonium illis et gentibus. Cum autem tradent vos, non ite cogitare quomodo aut quid luquanini, 
Dabi ko rin po bisin ila korna kui lo kwa. Non enim po sa estis kui lo kwe mili, set spiritus patris maestri kui lo kwe ko rin bobis. Dabi tautin frate fratri men mortem et pate filium, et in surgent filien parentes et morte eos afficient, et eritis odio omnibus propte nomen meo, kui autem perse faber vit usco in fine, ex salvus erit. The epistle today is taken from the letter of St. Paul the Apostle to the Galatians. Let me tell you this, brethren, the gospel I preach to you is not a thing of man's dictation. It was not from man that I inherited or learned it, it came to me by revelation from Jesus Christ. You have been told how I bore myself in my Jewish days, how I persecuted God's church beyond measure and tried to destroy it, going further in my zeal as a Jew than many of my own age and race. So fierce a champion was I of the traditions handed down by my forefathers. And then he who had set me apart from the day of my birth and called me by his grace saw fit to make his son known in me so that I could preach his gospel among the Gentiles. My first thought was not to hold any consultations with any human creature. I did not go up to Jerusalem to see those who had been apostles longer than myself. No, I went off into Arabia, and when I came back it was to Damascus. Then, when three years had passed, I did go up to Jerusalem to visit Peter, and I stayed a fortnight there in his company. But I did not see any of the other apostles except James, the Lord's brother. Such is my history. As God sees me, I am telling you the plain truth. And the Holy Gospel today is a continuation of that according to St. Matthew. At this time, Jesus said to his disciples, Remember, I am sending you out to be like sheep among wolves. You must be wary then as serpents, and yet innocent as doves. Do not put your trust in men. They will hand you over to courts of judgment and scourge you in their synagogues. Yes, and you will be brought before governors and kings on my account, so that you can bear witness before them and before the Gentiles. Only when they hand you over thus, do not consider anxiously what you are to say or how you are to say it. Words will be given you when the time comes. It is not you who speak, it is the Spirit of your Father that speaks in you. Brothers will be given up to execution by their brothers, and children by their fathers. Children will rise up against their parents and will compass their deaths, and you will be hated by all men because you bear my name. That man will be saved, who endures to the last. O Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In nomine Patris, et Filii, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Carissimi, beloved in Christ, welcome to this broadcast Mass on this, the Feast of the Commemoration of St. Paul the Apostle. This feast always follows yesterday's feast, which was the Solemnity of Saints Peter and Paul and of course whenever uh, either apostle uh, these two pillars of the church are celebrated uh, the other is always commemorated as well so it was that uh, after the collect for the commemoration of St Paul we then had a commemoratory collect of St Peter then of course remembering that we are still in the octave of the nativity of St John the Baptist which octave day is tomorrow and we are now, of course, too, in the octave of Saints Peter and Paul. This, my brothers and sisters, is an opportunity for us as the Church to reflect upon uh, the ministry and the accomplishments, but also to the admonishments of these two great pillars of the Church. It's said that uh, a man uh, sat next to a priest on a train and the man asked the priest if he was a Catholic and the priest said yes I am and the young man said uh, oh I'm a lapsed Catholic to which the priest responded and which sin was it you wouldn't give up indeed my brothers and sisters when we look at the lives of Saints Peter and Paul we read of course not just their admonishments toward us to uh, uh, seek redemption, to seek salvation, to seek reconciliation with God. But we also see by the example of their lives two men who themselves 
also came to a deep and great appreciation and understanding of the nature of salvation. And what is the nature of salvation but forgiveness, but absolution, but reconciliation with God? Peter, of course, we see that uh, often the most enthusiastic of the apostles, but who so often gets it wrong. The one occasion that he does get it right, our Lord says to him, It is not you who spake these words, but my Father in heaven through you. And of course, uh, he denied Christ, fulfilling that prophecy of Christ at the, Lord's, at the Last Supper, that he would deny him and indeed there outside the temple outside uh, the court of the Sanhedrin he denied Christ and yet after the resurrection as we heard uh, from the gospel of the vigil of Saints Peter and Paul on uh, Tuesday as the last gospel we heard that moment of reconciliation between Peter and Christ when Jesus asked him Peter do you love me? Each one of those previous denials was wiped out by that simple question of the Lord Peter do you love me? and by Peter's response yes Lord you know that I love then with St Paul. St Paul of course as we've just heard in the epistle who described himself as the most uh, uh, forthright, the most uh, righteous uh, of Jewish men before his conversion uh, who had taught, been taught uh, the law by uh, Gamaliel uh, one of the great uh, recognized doctors of the Jewish law at that time but who had of course been a conspirator and overseen the stoning of the first martyr for the faith, St. Stephen, thus making St. Paul not just ignorant but also too a murderer. We know too that he took it upon himself to gain permission from the Sanhedrin to go up and down the countryside looking for Christians and martyring them. So it was that on such a journey he received his conversion on the way to Damascus. And what a conversion experience it was. For St Paul suggests, as we heard in the epistle today, that in that moment of meeting Jesus on the road to Damascus, he was imbued with all understanding of the faith of the Gospel. Such, he says, that he didn't need, he didn't immediately seek out the apostles because he already knew the faith. Everything had been imparted to him that had been imparted by Christ to the apostles in that moment on the road to Damascus. It seems, perhaps, at first sight, an arrogant claim. Yet, if we think about Paul or Saul as he had been, it perhaps makes sense. For Paul, who had been Saul, as Saul, had learned all the law and the prophets, and studied them diligently, could probably quote great extra extracts from them, could discourse for hours upon the law and the judgments, knew his Old Testament inside out. All he needed was that personal revelation of Jesus Christ to understand the fulfillment of that law, the fulfillment of the prophets, the fulfillment of the Old Covenant the fulfilment of all that had been promised to Israel. And there too, 
in that moment did he receive that forgiveness? Was he then reconciled with God? Of course, afterwards, he spends three days blinded by the vision. And it's not until Ananias comes to baptize him that it says the scales fall, fell from his eyes. Three days blind. Three days to think and to meditate and to reflect upon all that had uh, occurred in his life. To reflect and to realize the significance of that blindness. To realize how blind he had been despite all his diligence in learning and searching for the truth. Only when Christ came to him was all truth made known to him. And how wonderful then occasion must his baptism have been to have been then regenerated in the baptismal waters. As he says of himself to have died to the old man and risen anew in Christ. And indeed my brothers and sisters this is what is meant by salvation. This is what is meant for us and for others. But thinking back to that conversation between the young man and the priest on the train. Have we truly given up everything we ought in order to attain heaven? Have we forsaken ourselves of pride? Have we forsaken ourselves of vice? Of cares for worldly passions and lusts? Do we still have the temerity to forgive ourselves for what we perceive to be misdemeanors What sin, my brothers and sisters, are we struggling to give up? Probably, because it's the same for all of us, sin of pride. Indeed, we may not think ourselves proud. We may not even think ourselves vain. We may even think that, generally speaking, we do not think very much of ourselves. And yet it would seem we think enough of ourselves not to completely and utterly subjugate and open ourselves to God's will for our lives. How often do we spend time in prayer discerning his will? How often do we spend time thinking about how to manifest his will, how we might be instruments of his will? As we reflected the other day on Monday, we know what God's will is. We know that God's will, his desire, is for every man, woman and child to spend this life in love and in union with him and all eternity. We know that the purpose of our lives, the reason for our existence, is to love and to serve him in this life and in the next. Do we then, my brothers and sisters, live our lives in such manner that every moment is given to the
the fulfillment of his will, both for us and for others. A large part of the contemporary phenomenon of the depreciation of our churches the dwindling of our numbers is because so many of us are not living our lives for him. Many of us, though intellectually we may uh, say and assent to the notion that we understand that God brought us here and has a purpose for us. Many of us will say that we struggle to find out why. And so we don't spend as much time as we ought. Or we clearly or conveniently forget that our purpose here is to love and serve Him. Yet we pray the Our Father and we say those words Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. But do we say them always assenting with our hearts and our minds and our will to apply ourselves to fulfill his will upon earth? How many missed opportunities are there, or have there been in our lives, where we have not shared our faith, where we have not spoken about the hope that is in us? Remember that admonishment of St. Peter, always be prepared to give an account for that hope which is in you, that Christian hope. we have by virtue of Christ's resurrection, that hope of our own resurrection to eternal life. And aside, my brothers and sisters, from ourselves, not always availing ourselves of God's love and mercy, by not sharing the gospel, we prevent others from receiving the same from coming to know God, from coming to understand and know the reason for their existence, from coming to feel and appreciate and experience the loving mercy and kindness of God. For certain, my brothers and sisters, if we would seek to correct this situation amongst ourselves, then we can do no worse than begin with our very selves. For as the Lord intimates in today's Gospel, opportunities will be given, will present themselves for us to speak about the good news. And he says, do not endeavour to speak with your own words, but open your heart and your mind to the inspiration of the Holy Ghost. And God the Father will give us the words to speak. Did you see how often our ego gets in the way of allowing that to happen in those opportunities as they arise. Fear overtakes us. We worry about saying the wrong thing. We don't trust in God to give us the words to speak. And 
but all too often we worry about what other people think so that we refrain from speaking out against sin and speaking out against evil because nobody wants to hear about sin and evil or because we haven't really trusted in God's righteousness and mercy towards us that we think ourselves unworthy to be able to speak to others about sin and about evil. And yet, those who strive and those who are striving in their personal lives to live out their salvation who are striving towards holiness striving towards righteousness who confess their faults and trust in his absolution who are striving to correct their faults For such, my brothers and sisters, God's grace is assured. God's grace is assured to those who strive toward him. And he will give us the power and the ability to share his good news. only we spend our lives truly living in love and in union with him praying steadfastly studying diligently the scriptures and the teachings of the church of the apostles applying ourselves continually to seek to do his will of offering ourselves up continuously to do his will of remembering and recognizing that ultimately his will is for all people to be saved we see in Peter and Paul, two men who despite their failings received such grace and power from God, who applied themselves to his will, such that two thousand years hence we have received that same good news, that same gospel of salvation. Let us try, let us strive to emulate these holy apostles and all those saints who have gone before us, martyrs and confessors, who trusted in God and allowed themselves to be used by him for his will to make manifest his love in Christ for all that we may bring ourselves and others to the fullness of our redemption in him who is God, Father, Son and Holy Ghost Amen. Mm -hmm.
Deum de Deo, Lumen de Lumine, Deum Verum de Deo Verum, Genitum non factum consubstantialem partum, Pequem omnia factus sunt, Qui propter nos homines et propter nostrum salutem, Descendit de celis, Et incarnatus est de Spiritus Sancto ex Maria Virgine, Et homo factus es. Crucifixus etiam pro nobis supponsio Pilato passus et supultus est. Et resurrexit tersie die secundum scripturas. Et ascendit in celum, sedet ad exteram patris. Et iter venturus est, cum gloria judicare vivos et mortuus, cuius reni non erit fini. Et in Spiritum Sanctum, Dominum, et Fificantem, qui ex Patre procedi, qui cum Patre et Filio summa adoratore con glorifica cur, qui locutus es per profetas, et unam Sanctam, Catholicam et Apostolicam Ecclesiam, confitio unum Baptisma in remissionem peccatorum, et ex specto resurrectionem mortuorum, et vita venturi seculi. Amen. Dominus obiscum, et cum spirito tuo, ordemus. Mihi autem nimis honorati sunt amici tui Deus, nimis confortatus est principatus seor.
secula seculorum. Amen. Dominus obiscum, et cum spiritu tuo, susum corda, habemus et dominum, gracias agamus domino Deo nostro, dignum et justum est, vere dignum et justum est, equam et salutare, te domini supplicite et exorare, ut gregum tuum paste etene non deserat, sed per beatus apostolus tuos continua protectioni custodias. Uti istem rectoribus dominetur, quos opedis, tui becarius etem, contulisti prese pastones. Et i Deu cam angelis rac angelis controlis dominationibus, conque omni militia celestis et fregitus, enum gloria et tuae canimus in e file dicentes. Sanctus! 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 Dominus Deus Sabeo! Plenis un celi et terra, gloria tua, cosana in excelsis. Benedictus tui veniti, nobile Domini, cosana in excelsis.
Sicula Seculor. Amen. Orde precepti salutaribus moniti et divin instruzione coma ademus dice. Pater nostri requies cei sanctificet cum nomen tuum, ad veni ad regnum tuum fie voluntas tua, sicut in cielo et in terra. Panem nostrum quadrianum de nomis fornia, et imite nomis debita nostra, sicut de nostri mitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentazione. Se libera nostra mano. Per Romia secula seculorum. Amen. Pax Domini sit semper vobis. Et cum spiritu tu. Onus Dei, qui tolis spettato mundi, miserere nobis. Onus Dei, qui tolis spettato mundi, miserere nobis. Onus Dei, qui tolis spettato mundi, dona nobis pace. Ece alius Dei, ece qui tolit peccato mundi. Domine non sum dignus, ut in te su tectum mea, se tentum de verbo, et sen abitur anima mea. Domine non sum dignus, ut in te su tectum mea, se tentum de verbo, et sen abitur anima mea. Domine non sum dignus, ut in te su tectum mea, se tentum de verbo, et senabitur anima mea. Brothers and sisters watching Mass online and unable therefore to receive the Blessed Sacrament, we invite you now to make an act of spiritual communion, the words for which we will find below your viewing screen. My Jesus, I believe that Thou art present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love Thee above all things, and I desire Thee in my soul. Since I cannot now receive Thee sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. As though thou wert already there, I embrace thee, and unite myself wholly to thee. Permit not that I should ever be separated from thee. 
insomnia. Et secuti est es me, gentu plum et cipietis, et vitam eternam posidetis. Dominus obiscum, et cum spirito tu, ordemus. Percetis Domini sacramentis, viatu Paolo apostolo tu interveniente et deprecabu, utque proilius celebrate sunt gloria, nobis potri profici and ad medela. Per Dominum nostrum, jais in Christum filium tuum, qui tecum vive da regna ad unilitati Spiritus Sancti Deus, per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Ordemus. Leitifice et nos Domini munus oblatum, ut sicut in apostolo tuo, Petro, te mirabilem, Predicamus, sic per ilum tu es sumamus in urgenza e l'agitate. Sumat Ecclesia tua Deus viazzi, Giovannis Baptiste e Generazione Letizia, per quem sue regenerazioni spognovi d'autore, Dominum nostrum Iesum Christum Filium tuum, qui tecum vive da regna ad unenitati Spiritus Sancti Deus, e a Romnia secula seculorum. Amen. Dominus obiscum, et cum spirito tuo, ite misa est, Deo gratias. In nome Domini Benedictum, e sovrunto tuus, quae in secula, auditorium nostrum, in nome Domini, qui feci celi metera, benedicat vos, omnipotens Deus. Pate, et filius, et spiritus sanctus. Amen. Dominus obiscum, et cum spirito tuo, inizium sancti vangeli, secundo mio guarda, gloria ti vi dole. In principio eret bevum, et bevum eret apodeum, et Deus eret bevum, hoc erat in principio apodeum, omni prinsum factus sunt, e simso factum est nilgo factum est. In inso vita erat, e vita erat lux omnibus, lux in tenebris, luce di tenebre, non comprehendere. Qui et homo missus del quo nomen erat Giovanni, sic veriti testimoni mu testimoni piperit in lumine, quando es credo non tui illum. Non eriti nei lux, sedo testimoni piperit in lumine, era lux vera, qua luminat omnem, hominem rientem in un fundum. In mundo erat, in mundo spiritum factus, e se mundo se non cognomi. Proprio veriti se un nome ci perum. Por quota tempere ci perum, deum dederis forestatum, filios dei fieri, che spiventi nomine eus. Qui non is sanguinibus, nec lo dentati canis, nec lo dentati viri, se lit deo nati sum. Et verbum carlo factum est, et abitavit in nobis e vinimus gloria meus, gloria in quasi unigenitia patria, per un grazie veritatis. Deo grazias. Deo grazias.